At five now, disturbing new revelations about a University of Maryland student that was found dead in his campus apartment. Michael Mutrin was from Potomac and played hockey for Maryland. What police found in his apartment has many people on campus concerned. Our Maryland Bureau Chief Brad Bell is live from College Park with the details. Brad. Well, you know, these have been tough days around this campus. Two weekends in a row, young people were hit by cars while crossing Route 1. One of them was killed. And now this. Yesterday afternoon, Easter Sunday, this young man is found dead in his off-campus off apartment. University of Maryland student and ice hockey player Michael Mutrin attended his hockey team banquet Saturday night. Law enforcement sources say the Potomac native and Churchill High grad then spent the rest of the evening with his teammates. 3 p.m. Easter Sunday, his roommate calls 911 to say Mutrin is unresponsive. And when officers responded, they found a 23-year-old University of Maryland student um, dead on the scene. I feel very shocked about it. It's, it's always shocking to hear there are such, a, such things involved on campus. Students tell us they are saddened to hear of Mutrin's death, but they are stunned to hear that in the student athlete's room in this off-campus student apartment building, police found two 9mm handguns, crack cocaine, the drug ecstasy, and hypodermic needles. It's kind of awkward because like we just we're here 24-7 and just to hear about this story is just out of the blue. It's like, whoa. It's shocking when you hear about it uh, to think it's like right here. Police believe Mutrin, who described himself online as a nutrition and fitness buff, is the latest in an epidemic of drug overdose deaths sweeping the region. But they won't know for sure for weeks. The body is being taken to the medical examiner in Baltimore where an autopsy will be conducted and then it'll take about six weeks for toxicology results to come back. Well, police say that their investigation into all that was found in that room, the drugs and the guns, is also ongoing. At the University of Maryland, Brad Bell, ABC 7 News.